Hey everybody, Mary and the Barbarian here. And we have got a great shade, thanks to David Gonzalez. It is not his edge on the razor. Uh, I just wanted to use this razor. Um, but the soap and splash was courtesy of David, which I think was courtesy of Peter. So, you know, pretty good shade. Uh, David said the scent was fine. He didn't think it was like great, wasn't up his alley. But this is really nice. I don't know what's all going on there. But it's a deeper floral. I did uh, bloom the soap because, you know, David sent it to me. So we're going to do it uh, Big Daddy style. This is my last drink for a while. I start some meds tomorrow that you can't drink on. So they're like a week on, three weeks off, week on type shit. So we're going to have one drink tonight. And we're out of grapefruit juice. So. Still got vodka, but we're out of grapefruit juice. Let's look at the soap. The peony and the serpent, or the peony and serpent. It's just, I feel it should be like the serpent and the peony, or serpent and the peonies. I don't know. It just, it's great scent though. And also, while we're talking about it, the tubs Pete's been using that are these clear tubs. Other people use clear tubs, but they're not as sturdy as these. These are as sturdy as, like, the white ones that you see from uh, Douglas and CK6. So, really nice. They hold up the lids. I'm impressed. That's all I'm saying. Packaging-wise, I am impressed. So, we are face lathering. Tub load today. I'm using the, uh, the Duke 3 Best Badger from Simpson. It's one I like to face lather with. So we're just gonna sit here. I may have shaken out. I did. I'm just gonna dip the tips. I shook out too much water out of this brush. We weren't gonna start that dry, not with this soap. I know I don't need to like overload it, but we're gonna sit here. Just a little bit more in there. I haven't face lathered in a while. Ooh. It's opening up quite nicely while lathering. What do you say, David, is that enough? A little dry there in the middle. David can critique, although he doesn't comment on the videos. He claims it's because he watches it on his TV, and he feels guilty about not leaving comments. But alas, here we are. No comments from David. All right, got to rinse it out, guys. Y'all know me. I may like something sloppy and messy, but not my tubs. I rinse them fully out. I'll dry it off the outside of the tub. And then I will stick it on the sink down with kind of half of it leaning over the sink so it can air out. So, I get the proto lather on this is like no other. It's in the K2E, which is really nice. And I'll let people know in the beginning, for people that don't watch all the way through, you know, not upset if you don't, it's all right. Um, I'm probably going to do a video every day this week, and it's going to be a product I'm selling. They will be listed on Amazon Marketplace, or you can hit me up, depending on how we pay. It can affect uh, price, because uh, PayPal Goods and Services really likes to take their percentage shall i say and sometimes it's more than what they say it should be and you're looking at it and you're like yeah that's not right that's not the numbers you said so but david honed up some razors i want to get rid of them and maybe some brushes we'll see here and there and when i'm done using the brushes on camera i'll clean them with my paa cleaner and get them all good to go so they're like new when the person gets it in, doesn't have to do any crazy cleaning or anything. Which, my brushes are all in pretty good shape. I am aggressively lathering with this. It's an awesome freaking lather, guys. The scent's really nice. It's just like a deeper floral. It's not like a super strong floral. It's not honeysuckle or, you know, think of some other strong floral. Get the hands really dry. So we're about to straight razor shave with my Japanese frame back. I do not know who the maker is, 
I think Lather Me Whiskers was the last one on this, but I like that it's a uh, gunmetal. So, or blue, shall I say? In a rifle, oh, I didn't lather all the way up to the sideburns. So they're probably going to be straight razor shaves too, moving forward the rest of the week. No way I can talk a little bit about the straight razor I'm using. People get more information. And if they ask questions, like what's it look like, is it shave ready, and just link the video. So I guess it's going to be hashtag show hard of week. So, I've kind of been thinking guys, like, You know how we all have some inexpensive frags we love? And like, you really never see dupes of them. And I say that and people are probably going to be like, I know there's a bunch of sterling dupes. And sterling will dupe some inexpensive frags, which is nice. But, I've got some inexpensive frags that, like, I think they're every man. Oop, that was a little too rough the way I went up. That you're every man could afford, you know? So like you get a line of soaps that I, I don't know if Shannon's is coming out with it, but I do know they did like F black. I do have F black and it's good, but there are other inexpensive frags that I like better. But my point being like, you know, when you get the matching aftershave, and the soap, and it's really close. Similar, you know, just in the spectrum, complement well even, let's put it that way. It would be awesome if we could get someone did like a line of like inexpensive dupes. And I would try to get Maddie to do it, but I don't know where to get the oils, you know what I mean guys? And I don't want to just be like buying random oils that say they're this and they not be good for the skin. You know what I mean? People have all sorts of frag reactions like, <laughs> I don't want to deal with that. I'm sure Maddie doesn't want to deal with that. So, we can find you where to get the frag oils. It'd be, it'd be one thing. But like, wouldn't it be awesome? Like, uh, let me try to think. Obsessions one, that's been done. Strike Gold Shave did that. Douglas does some. Like Old Spice, but his is original um, Schulten formula, but you kind of get the point. Um, what's some inexpensive frag I like? Well, Emporio Armani He, but I think it's been discontinued because you can't find it anywhere. So, that changes things. But I'd, I'd love a dupe of that. Um, other inexpensive frags. None off the top of my head. Doesn't that suck? You want to talk about it and you can't think about it. Remember, left hand is a... Left hand is... The less articulate hand. Hmm. Did cut a little there where I went heavy handed. It's just really hard. Not to be heavy handed sometimes for me. And you can see there's some aggravation here before. I did strop it quite a bit for the shave. I zoned out watching McClintock. 
whilst dropping, so I didn't keep track, but it was a good while, you know what I mean? It's a great John Wayne movie. I know a few people say it's their favorite. It's not my uh, favorite. My favorite has more to do with the fact that uh, the one I used to watch the most with my grandfather. And I enjoy the singing. I wonder if it's been so long since I shaved with this and it's been so long since it's been home that it just feels a little rough. And Paul doesn't do rough edges. So. I wonder if it oxidized or something. Because it's a little rougher than, especially on the neck. But the neck already had some aggravation, so who knows. But yeah, I'm going to... Do a series where pretty much... The hardware and or soap is up for sale. People can see it and it's mainly because money got tight and I've got some stuff in from David people didn't know I wanted to restore razors get them honed and sell them inexpensively to noobs um, I've got some that are nicer than just for noobs but the point being that that was my goal you know what I mean and I got so much on my plate that I can't get it all done. And even if I am on top of it, I'll get a good amount of money into it by paying for honing services and then not hear anything for a while. So it's kind of tricky. So right now I got like 10 razors from David and we're probably gonna be going through those guys. So we're gonna rinse up and I'll be right back. All right guys, and we're back. Man, I need to stop wearing black shirts that get like fucking white, you know. I'm not going to say anymore. All right, guys. So we're going to finish up with the matching splash. Here's the thing. It, it, it's a split. You got everybody's got their own thing. Yes, there's alcohol in the splash. Does it have a good scent, strength, and longevity? Yes. Downside. I don't get a burn from it. But that's okay. Ooh, let me... Uh, I don't get a lot of, uh, it's a creamy splash. There is alcohol. I mean, it's great for nutritional value. Hmm, that's a little different. It's going to be hard for me to describe. Is there a little citrus or something? There's something under there. I can't put my nose on. But it doesn't burn, guys. And... Here's the thing, guys. Everything I use, I will link below. I will gear used. All the items will be listed. Channels mentioned. I link the channels now because when I used to watch people, they talk about other people. I have to like go and look them up. Just trying to help you out with that. As for links, like I said, I only have one affiliate. It's with PAA, and I really never make money on it. I just put it up there so people can go to it. And my link's only good for a short period, anyways. But um. Uh, all that information is down there for you to see. Everyone's watched to the end. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'm dismissing everybody. We didn't even go back to the brush. Great little brush. You know how many times I almost sold this brush and went to use it one last time? And I'm like, I can't sell this brush. Then months later, having used it, and I'm like, I'm going to use it one last time. And it's like, I can't sell this brush. This is like my number one face lathering brush. Best Badger from Simpson, at least. This thing's like six years old, I think. It's it's really good. I don't lose Badger hair. Haven't had issues with it. And I do 
it's just a good size face lathering. I, I really enjoy it. I'm not a like faux ivory guy, traditional. At the time I kind of was. But honestly, if I'm going to have something like this, I'd rather just have a horn handle. If that makes sense to anybody. So again, I think we're all good. Do have a little irritation. So it's going to be fun straight razor shaving all week if uh, we got some irritation going on. I probably should take a day off, but we're not. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow and hope you all have a wonderful evening.